Hello everyone, in this uh, tutorial we will talk about factorials, permutation and combination. So I'll uh, try to be very basic and uh, try to explain it in a very simple way. Uh, so let's uh, take an example. Uh, suppose uh, if we have uh, four students, student 1, student 2, student 3 and student 4, right? And uh, we want to uh, we want the students to take a seat and we have four seats one two three and four and the students wants to sit on the seat so uh, how can we possibly make them to sit on this uh, four seats right so uh, you can either uh, do it uh, one two three four you can do it two three four one or this way you can do many many options so if you try to uh, count the number of arrangement by writing it down it will be very difficult for you so instead of that we will take a approach uh, in which we will go seat by seat so let's take the example so for the first seat let's assume this one for the first seat we have four options either one can sit, sit on it two can sit on it three can sit on it or four can sit on it so we have four option for first seat right so once we have the four option then we look at the second seat. Now, uh, when we count the second seat, we already assume that the first seat is taken. So, if first seat is taken, then there are only three people left because first somebody is already sitting there. So, in the second case, uh, for the second seat, we only have three options left. And when we go to the third seat, then because the first and the second seats are already taken, so we only have two options left. And for the last one, uh, the last person has to sit on it so only one option is left so thereby uh, the total number of arrangement for four students to sit on four seats would be four factorial and which is called four into three into two into one so we call it four factorial so uh, if you calculate it it will be four into three twelve and twelve into two twenty four so the answer will be twenty four different arrangements for them to sit uh, if you want to verify whether I did it correctly or not, let's instead of having four students, let's take two students. So I say one and two and we have two seats. So this you can also count. You can sit, have them sit in only two ways. One, two, or two and one, right? So uh, your answer will be two factorial, which is two into one that is equal to two, right? So you can calculate using factorial or you can do it counting because there are only two numbers here but if you have four numbers here then you cannot do the counting but you can calculate using the factorials